I'm moving out officially today. That's one thing I'm not going to miss. This is the only box I have, so I'm going to put all of that in here. Yeah! Where are the keys? <laughs> If I'll get sued soon, he's gonna regret his decision of writing down with me. I'm about to go upstairs and start packing my stuff, and I have so many emotions. Because I left Virginia two months ago to go home to Texas for the holidays, not knowing that I would never live in Virginia again. I went home and I realized while I was there for the holidays that Texas is the place that I need to be right now in this time of my life. I think it's just time to open a new chapter in my life and get my own things going, get my own house, and I'm so excited. So I'm about to go upstairs, <laughs> pack up my room, and in the morning we are hitting the road at like 6 a.m. to go to Texas. However, I didn't plan very great because I don't have any boxes. So it's gonna be trash bags and whatever I can find today. I did not plan this well. Okay, like I said, I don't have boxes. However, I have a few duffel bags. So I'm gonna try to cram whatever I can into here. And then everything else is going in the trash bags. I only did two drawers and this is already full. So I don't know how I'm gonna fit all my stuff into those three things. Oh, that just broke. That's great. I have such an issue. This is just bikinis, nothing else. And that's full to the top of the door. So it's going in a trash bag. I didn't realize I had so much stuff until I started packing it up. All right, my dresser's empty, so now I'm gonna empty out my closet. I'm just gonna leave everything hanging up and then slide the trash bag like over it all. That's what I did when I moved here and it worked perfectly. Okay, that didn't work as great as I thought it would because last time I had bigger bags, so it like ripped and stuff, but at least now they'll stay in place while I'm traveling. Okay, the dresser's done, the closet's done. All I have is shoes underneath the sink and little knickknacks to finish and then I'm done. I have this one box. This is the only box I have, so I'm gonna put all of that in here and hopefully it fits. All right, this is where we're at right now. Um, the cats found themselves a spot to sit. It's all just like the knickknacks, miscellaneous stuff, but it's honestly the most annoying part because nothing has a spot. So I'm kind of just throwing things places and it's very unorganized. I kicked the cat out of the suitcase. The cat <laughs> yeah, you can't do it in here. <laughs> Don't drop it. Perfect. I'm a girl. That's a guy's job. All right, we're stopping because we're both hungry. So we're going to go get some food and then come back. But I haven't driven my car in over a month. So let's see if this thing even starts because she's old. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're eating at cookout. He lived in South Carolina for a few months and I obviously lived in Virginia for over a year, but they only have it on the East Coast. So we're going to get it one last night tonight before I move. Cookout review, it's been probably two or three years. See if it's as good as I remember. <laughs> this smells good. I like smells the Cajun good, smell. Let me have a fry. Water burger is still better. <laughs> so we're gonna go back to Texas. Water burger will always be superior. However, these fries are really good. It's a Cajun fries. All right, we just made it back home and I'm gonna finish packing, bringing everything downstairs and then I'm going to sleep. I'm so tired, it's almost 2 a.m. downstairs at this point so in the morning we're gonna wake up at like 6 a.m load it all into my car and then get on the road but i'm going to sleep good morning i officially am out of here i have everything packed up my room is empty all we had to do is put everything in the car and then this is no longer my home <laughs> i'm not a morning person um... morgan's still in texas and she was like <laughs> when you come, can you bring my packages? And so I was expecting like two, three, you know, normal amounts. Y'all. <laughs> we have everything loaded to the brim. Oh my gosh. The trunk. We are in max capacity over here. All right. Now he's checking the oil because that's a boy's job and I'm a girl. <laughs> I have to leave this here. All right, I had to leave this behind because I no longer live here, so I no longer need it. But that makes me so sad. 
All right, we're officially on the road. Let's go. Ah! Only 18 and a half hours to go. Let's get it. <laughs> He's gonna drive during the day and I'm driving through the night because I don't like dealing with traffic and I drive better at night. I'm probably gonna end up driving the whole way just for my own safety. That's me! <laughs> I'm a good driver, I swear. I'm always past your princess. I already know I'm gonna get a bunch of questions asking like, oh, why are you moving out? Why are you moving out? And I just am ready to get my life started. Morgan has helped me out so, so much, and I will forever and always be so grateful that she opened up her home to me. I don't know where I would be without moving in, and that might sound stupid, but whenever I moved in with her, I was in the worst mental state I've ever been in. I was wrapped up in a situation that was really bad for me. So I moved in with her, and it benefited her because her husband was away in the military, and she needed help raising her one-year-old twins at the time. It was a really good thing for that time in my life, but it is an end of an era, and I'm ready to get my own life started. I'm ready to go back to Texas. So I've been gone for a month and a half, thinking I was coming home to Virginia. But it's just not in the cards anymore. I'm ready to be back in Texas. Just I'm a very family-oriented person and I thrive when I'm around my family. I'm also very, very excited. I have so much to announce in this upcoming month. I have a lot of projects in the work that I'm so excited to share with you guys, which is why I'm moving to Texas so quickly because I'm trying to get on the ball. I think this is going to be really good for me. Morgan's excited for me. It's sad because Virginia was my home. I made a lot of good memories here, but it's time for me to go and Morgan understands that. When I moved in, that was the agreement. Like I was welcomed here for however long. The door is always open for me. The plan was to never live with her forever. So all good things come to an end, but it's for the best. And Morgan understands. She's excited for me. <laughs> why does Virginia have 55 mile per hour speed limits? Why? Literally why? That's one thing I'm not gonna miss. No, the 55 mile speed limits. I'm used to my 75 miles per yeah. hour. Yeah, take me back to Texas. Highway. You get on the highway in Some Texas. Some of the highways are 85. Yeah, and you go fast. That was the biggest thing that I hated when I moved to Virginia was that the speed limits were 55 miles per hour. I was like, what? Who is going this slow? I won't miss that. I will not miss that. But I will miss Wawa. Oh, we should get a Wawa uh, breakfast sandwich. One last time. Yeah. There's literally hundreds of Wawas. I'm going to make him stop at Wawa. I can get a breakfast sandwich one last time. He's my Uber driver. Let's go. I'm gonna miss Virginia, I'm gonna miss my friends, but it's time to move on with life. Virginia was great to me, had a good time, but Texas is my home. Y'all have no idea how much I've missed being in my car. Like, my car is my safe spot, and I haven't seen it in like two months. So being in it just like makes me happy. <laughs> I love my car, like I'm weirdly attached to my car. Like, I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. <laughs> All right, we're stopping at Wawa, she's never had it. I'm gonna get some food and then we're gonna fill up the car. All right. Half of my panini is already gone before we even got out of the gas <laughs> it's station. So good. I don't think I've once in my entire life filled up at the gas station that costed $23. Okay, <laughs> but it was like Camry's not a even. Fuel saver. It wasn't even halfway empty. It was half full. Whatever. Where are the keys? <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're in my pocket. <laughs> I was about to say, you lost my keys. Boom. You're going to jail. That's good, though. Mm -hmm. That is like a... Mm -hmm. For a gas oh. station, that's a 9 out of 10. Right I'm there. telling you. I'm going to miss this. Okay. Right, we're passing through North Carolina, and in two hours, we're going to be at the old dealership that Noah worked at when he lived there for like eight months, but then he realized that Texas is the best state. That's right. We're going to Florida, um, South Carolina. Yeah, so we're going to stop at his old job and pop in for a minute and then get back on the road. I'm about to pee my pants. It should be illegal to not have paper towels in bathrooms. I'm sorry, but I'm not using that. I'm getting very hangry. So if I don't get food soon, he's gonna regret his decision of riding down with me. <laughs> All right, we just made it to the dealership that Noah used to work at. And I haven't seen my boss in probably two or so years, my old boss that I worked at and learned a lot here. So we're gonna go ahead, go inside and see if we can find him. 
All right, we're I'm getting back. <laughs> We got caught up a little bit. Such a mood. Up a little bit. I got to see all my old friends, and now we're gonna go get a good bite to eat because we <laughs> are both starving. I'm happy he got to see his friends, but I'm about to rip his He's head in a bad off. Mood I'm didn't so eat. moody. I've been saying since 12 that I'm starving, and it's almost four. Oh wait, four. no, it's just, it just turned three. I'm being dramatic. Oh my gosh, I'm hungry. I'm in a mood. Chicken tendies. You can't go wrong with them. All right, I feel a hundred times better. Talk I'm no longer a mean girl. But now we're hitting the road and we're no more stops, except for gas. It is literally so sunny. And I try to use the, your <laughs> visor, right? No, we don't have those in Leah's car. <laughs> it's ratty. I'm telling y'all, that has got ripped off. That's my 2010 Toyota Camry for ya. She's reliable, but she's ratty. Right, we just stopped and filled up the tank and now I'm gonna drive for a few hours while he takes a little nap. So, he's passenger princess. We stopped at the gas station to fill up and go to the bathroom, and then we got bowl of peanuts. And he's never had them. So. I've had them before. Oh, and they're so good. good. That's why I almost get them. <laughs> no, bowl of peanuts are so good. We have Nine ten. Hours. No, ten? we have ten hours on the road left. We've been in the car since seven in the morning, and it's what ten? It's ten at night, and we're probably gonna get there at five in the morning. Make it, make it, make it. Buckets. Yeah. I just woke up from a four hour nap. I slept like a baby. So in like 20 minutes we're gonna rotate and then he's gonna take a nap. Thank you. That's how you do it. We got six hours left to go to Houston. Oh, I'm tired of being in the car. Oh my god. After how many hours is that? We left at 6.30 and it's currently 7 flat. So we were on the road for 24 hours straight. 24 hours straight. I'm so tired. But we made it. Yeah, and I can't even take a nap because I have a lash appointment. It's a few days later and I'm settled into my parents' house for a few weeks while I work on my project, which I cannot wait to share with y'all. If you're not already, go follow me over on Instagram because I'm gonna be posting a question poll because I know a lot of people have a lot of questions about the move and where I'm gonna be living. Who's the new guy? I know a lot of people have a lot of questions. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I will start posting weekly, so keep an eye out for my videos. I just watched that last clip back and I just realized I'm so desensitized to noises because there's kids yelling in the back but I didn't, I don't even register it because I'm like, oh, just another noise. <laughs>